Hi. Um, so I'm gonna give people a couple of uh, minutes to join, but I was running a little bit late. Um, my apologies. This is something that I just wanted to do completely impromptu. Uh, usually a fashion file will give me like a, um, you know, a little bit of, of heads up before they do a sale and this time they didn't. So, um, let me tell you a little bit about the sale that's running. Uh, this is $200 off select merchandise. Uh, so they have like a whole, I guess, like, you know, a couple of pages of merchandise that um, you get to take, a, you know, a little bit better price on. And, you know, I thought it might be fun to just browse through it, see what they have, see if we can um, find anything that's worth buying and, you know, just generally like have, have a peek and see what is there. Um, um, I need to go to comments. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be posting all of the links of the, to the things that I feature, um, in the live stream. I'm going to share my screen and you can find that in the comments. I will be also reposting this so you will be able to see it if you can't catch the entirety of this. Um, I hopefully am not going to run too, too long, but every time I say that I run for three hours. Um, <laughs> um, perhaps I should close my windows. Maybe not. Um, but, oh, that should be fine. So, um, let's see. Let's get into it. Um, say hello if you're watching. I see I have a couple of you already. Hi. Uh, sorry I was running late. Um, but, um, yeah, I just feel like I haven't um, been on very much because I've just been really uh, busy with all of my all of my many, many jobs. So, um, I decided to do something you know, a little bit more interactive. So here we are. Um, let's see. So we're going to go to the home page. Um, I kind of have my, hi Sandy, how are you? <laughs> um, let's see. So yeah. So the sale, the theme of the sale is treat yourself. And I don't need an excuse to do that. I do that all the time. No regrets. Um, and it is $200 off select merchandise with the code. Um, let me see. I think I put that here. Okay. Can I add that in here? Yes, there it is. Oh, I'm figuring stuff out. Look at that. Look at me. Uh, yeah. So the, I should probably add the link here. Hold on. Okay. So, um, this is the link to shop, shop everything. Don't mind me and my, you know, technical difficulties or typos. Sorry about that. Um, I'm much better pre-recorded. <laughs> so let's see. How can I? Yeah. So we're going to. You've been treating yourself since January, Sandy. Good. Yeah. Good for you. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. I've been treating myself since January of last year. <laughs> Mm. Another thing I also thought to do, um, I don't know if you guys watched my, my last handbag collection video, but, um, I did reveal a Chanel bag in it and I actually returned it and got something else. So I think later on in the video, um, I'm going to show you the new thing that I got. I have a whole like review and everything coming up on it, but maybe because, uh, you guys decided to tune in live, you get a little like, you know, preview treat, um, on my new bag, my new new bag, because I decided that the medium was not for me. Um, we get into that in a video to come in a couple of days. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But, uh, yeah, you're going to get a sneak peek of my new new Chanel bag um right so let's hop into this sale um let's see where am I here this is the home page uh the sale is treat yourself you know I actually had a couple of people ask me if that was me unfortunately it's not <laughs> Uh, you guys do know, you guys know that I do modeling on the side and I wish that Fashion File would have called me to do one of their campaigns. That would have been super cool, but alas, that is not me. That is another, uh, lovely model with similar hair, but very cool nonetheless. Um, so right. So they're just doing a uh, 200 off select merchandise. If you want, um, I'm going to post the link again right here. Um, that's going to take you to everything that is available for sale or sorry, on sale. Um, and I'm kind of like itching to get myself a new bag too. So why is this not working? There we go. 
Okay. Um, I'm kind of itching to get myself a new bag too. So, um, yeah, maybe, maybe, um, let's, we'll, let's see what they have first. <laughs> okay. So we're starting off with some jewelry. I know at work people are going nuts over Van Cleef. I'll be honest. I don't know anything about it at all. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. Let's, let's just go to it and see what we see there. Um, if you want to see the Van Cleef, like this is a necklace. I like, Ooh, you guys know I'm not super into jewelry, so I don't, I don't really get the appeal, but that's like a big one. Do people like that? I like that. That's good. That's cute. Right. For, for 41.50 and you take 200 off. So it's, you know, what is that? J just under $4,000 for a, uh, mother of pearl, huge, Alhambra pendant. I don't know. This is something new I'm discovering. Um, jewelry is not my jam, but people do go nuts over it every time that we say that we have any VCA available. VCA is Van Cleef and Arpels. Um, so people are super into that. And there is a necklace. I don't know if it's a good deal or not because jewelry is not my world, but um, <clears throat> okay. So some Bulgari, some Tiffany. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is the last, um, ooh, ooh. You know what? Let's put a pin in that. Because, um, well, Lisi, uh, let's put a pin in that for the black Epi St. Cloud because I have an Epi St. Cloud now and I'm obsessed with it. Um, let's, let's have a look at that. Uh, um, let's definitely have a look at that, it, um, even though it's not part of the sale. I love my Epi St. Cloud, so I can't recommend it enough. Let's see. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention the sale ends um, tomorrow at midnight, I believe. And um, like I said, normally they give me like a, a heads up so I can, you know, do um, a live stream like this at the beginning of the sale as opposed to the end. But you know what? Whatever. There's, there's. Let's see. There. Let's just scroll down here to the very bottom really quickly, and there is. 10 pages of stuff here. That's more than plenty for us to go through. I'm sure there's going to be something, uh, something fun to see here. So I did kind of browse it a little bit. Um, if you see anything that you want me to, um, uh, jump on, then go ahead and uh, type that into the comments or, or into, into the chat and we can have a look at it. So let's see. So this is a monogram speedy 25 going for 1810. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So let's start here just because I am kind of intrigued at like, is it worth it? Oh, hold on. My, which page am I in? Okay. I'm, I'm here. Um, yeah. Is it worth it to buy a speedy? For 1810, this is gonna come to you know. Actually, I haven't checked the new retail prices, and I'm gonna do that really quickly here on the side. Hold on. So, a Speedy 25 Bandolier is 1820 so this actually let's 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 we're gonna look at the condition it says it's excellent so i mean this is a bag that never goes on sale it's a bag that's highly coveted and highly sought after um a little bit less so now but i think it's always going to be a classic um i'm gonna i'm gonna drop it i'm gonna drop a link to this one sure um uh uh uh, uh no right here No. Oh, I didn't do it. That's right. Okay. One second. So I'm going to put this one in because I think that if you are already in the market for a speedy, um, let's see if it comes with its stuff. It does not come with a box or dust bag or anything like that. I think that's kind of a little bit of a mistake, but honestly, it's, it looks like it's in good shape. 
me go in here. Let's just look and see what the patina on this is looking like. Um, it's a bag from 2017. I see that. Louis Vuitton Paris. This is SD, so it's going to be made in the U.S. Uh, from the end of 2017, so it's probably in stores in 2018. Um, the leather on it looks really nice. So if you want to save 200 off of retail, uh, then sure. If you're already in the market for one, then this is probably probably worth purchasing. Um, hopefully there will be some better deals in here, but I figure why not start from the beginning? <laughs> okay. Um, this day... So, um, and if, uh, if you guys are new to my live streams, I don't do them often. I'm kind of working on a better process. Um, but for now, if you're watching live, then you can, um, I'm going to add links in the chat. Um, I'm gonna add links in the chat. I'm hopefully going to do this a little bit faster in the future. Oh, wait, I should probably say what it is. I'll be speedy. Oops. Speedy 25B and let's see. So that comes to 18, 1820 is the retail, 1810 is what they're selling it for, minus 200. So that's 1610. Like I said, if you're already going for one, then you might as well save the 200 bucks, I guess. And let's see. You know what? Actually, actually, hold the phone. So I'm on Louis Vuitton US right now, and the Speedy Bandolier 25 is placing cart at 18.20 plus tax. So maybe just get it there. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go back. Let's go back. Um, uh, like I said, if there's anything that you guys want to see. Um, that is a part of the sale or even not a part of the sale on fashion file tonight, then, uh, do let me know. Uh, this is cool. Um, did you guys see my Hermes video where I talked about bags that you don't need to buy in the pre-love market? This was not on that list. Just FYI. Um, Let's see, this is in framboise, so that's gonna be a raspberry pinkish color. This is kind of cool. I'm kind of into this. I'm very particular about my Hermes. Uh, that's a Z stamp, so that's gonna be 2021. This is that's a cool one. I don't know what the retail is on this, but I can't imagine this on the website or anything like that. Um, I think this is cool. I don't wear pink, but maybe one of you out here does. A new in box canvas bag with all the H's all over it, but it's not like super like, ooh, Hermes. I like this. I'm into it. Let's see. Um, and be sure to send me your requests. Always happy to have a look. I already have one down for the um, Louis Vuitton St. Cloud in black. Um, let's see. Oh, that looks kind of good. So... Let's look at this. All right, so this is a Chanel Deerskin Chevron Small CC Bucket Drawstring Bag in red. Um, I like this, actually. Um, yeah, so it looks like, hmm, I wonder deer skin. I think that that's going to be something that is like more like on the sturdier side, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, there's definitely many different like iterations on how, to, how it's going to look, um, like how it's going to, like, it looks like it's like pebbled. Do you see that? The size is good. The size is good. I like the drawstring. Um, that looks like it might be a pocket on the side, potentially. As if it is, that's very cool. It may not be, but hold on. 
So it's a 23 series. It's like 2017. Maybe not. No, it might, might be older than that. I don't know. I do see this seam right here. And if it's a pocket, then I'm definitely into it. I think it is. It's not letting me zoom. That's annoying. Let's see. Okay, so this says it's in very good condition. What is what does that mean, perchance? Um, it says edge wear, faint corner wear, um, creases, scuffs, hardware scratches, surface wear. Let's see. On the corners. I, okay, nothing there. And maybe there's some type of discoloration. But, but I don't see it. This one actually looks pretty good. But you have to love red bags, which is not everyone does. I think there was a period in like you know the mid 2010s i guess since you know that apparently was a million years ago there's a period in the mid 2010s where everyone needed to have a red bag and now it's just it's less so red bar red bags are very very hard to sell so if you love red then you know now's the time to scoop up as many red bags as your you know little heart can muster um all right i was dropping a link for this um, that is going to be here. No. What do we think? What do we think of the Chanel red bucket bag? Um, if any of you are just joining, uh, hello. This is just something impromptu. Um, I decided to do it the last minute. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, I don't see myself running for too long because I just started working out again and I'm exhausted. <laughs> Not even going to lie. <laughs> ah, okay. Hi, Marcia. Oh, I did it again. Chanel bucket bag. Okay, so that one's there in the live chat. Um, so now I think we're going to move on. Uh, Gunmetal hardware, you know what? I'm a little weird about the silver and red and gunmetal hardware on like certain colors of bags. So I like the bag itself, but the color is not for me necessarily. Um, that's a lambskin mini in like a uh, coral color. I think that's above, I want to say that's above retail now, I think. I'm forgetting what the, what the retail is on the mini or at, at this exact moment. Um, you know what? Actually, actually, hi. Um, actually, I've been getting calls for Celine bags finally. It's like, what a nice, refreshing surprise. This one looks nice. So I think that, like, I have been getting a lot of calls for Celine bags uh, lately when for the past couple of years it was at a complete zero calls for Celine bags and you know I think if you are into this bag and if you have been into this bag now's the time to scoop them up um just in case that they um you know end up um you know jumping up in price at all uh let's see so this is the mini luggage in the story Celine Sorry. Um, one second. I need to get a monitor. That's what I need to get. <laughs> okay. So if you want to this one that is here you can click on the link in the chat and it'll bring you directly to the bag that I'm talking about I should probably do that before I start talking about the bag but I love this color um, it's like uh, the the word Suri means mouse in French but it's like a like a taupey gray color this is what I think is like the size to have of this bag um, this one is a classic. This was a like it bag for a very, very long time. And they're definitely, definitely coming back in style. Um, the condition on this looks amazing. Um, 
Oh, Celine Canvas versus LV Canvas. More initial turn but the price point is still high. It definitely is high, but LV Canvas wants to be high now too. So, um, let me see. So this one is going for eighteen thirty-five with the code that would bring you to sixteen hundred. Um, that's about half off of retail, and um, it's looking like just inside there, like the condition is really, really nice. But the actually, can I? I want to do that. Is that better? Yeah, there we go. I think that that might be better. Let, give me a thumbs up if, if that's better for looking at you know the stuff. Maybe my head doesn't need to be so big on the screen. <laughs> okay, so I think that this potentially could be some type of like interior stuff happening, but it's also suede, and suede is very very hard to photograph and let's to, to look good in pictures. Um, I don't know how much you guys have photographed suede before, but it, it, it sucks because it looks like crap in photos. Even if it's brand new, it's just like the texture of it just doesn't, I don't know. You see every brush stroke, every, every wipe, very, very annoying, which is why I just don't tend to like when bags are lined with suede um, because it makes it look like they're dirtier than they are. However, this one looks nice. This one is, I think this looks like it's from 2016. Um, Celine has similar date codes to, um, sorry, Celine has similar date codes to, um, LV and all the, and, um, a couple of others. <clears throat> this looks like one small scuff right here and something happening there. Um, and yeah, overall, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think there probably are better deals out there on this bag, but I think that what, I think that this one has the structure um, almost like it's new. So I think that this one is a pretty good buy. I I am into it. Um, okay, Lisey, yes, that is a not, not so well-kept secret that those bags do absolutely get heavy, um, but that's gonna be the case for most anything that is top handle in that size. Um, I don't know, I really wish that, I wish that this bag had a strap. But like, if I had, if, if it were up to me, I would put a strap like right here in some type of fashion on this bag. I think that would make it, but I mean, then that would basically make it into a Louis Vuitton on the go. So, you know, I, <laughs> mm, excuse me. Um, okay. So, so far, I think I like that one. It's 1600 for that, for that condition. Cause yeah, once you see them like much below that, you'll start to get into like them having like structure loss and all kinds of stuff, scuffing and like that, like wrinkling. It's almost like it had been wet, but I feel like it, it wasn't. Um, what else do we have here? Um, a Chanel medium flap and you're looking and seeing, oh wow, this one's only 49.35. Uh, that's because it's made of suede. And if you're gonna, like you are braver than I, if you get a suede, medium flap, even though my silver Chanel was suede. Breaking news, the silver Chanel is no longer in my collection. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but uh, yeah, no longer in the collection. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> I'm looking right here. I love this belt and I feel like hold on so this is a Matt Kelly belt sorry a Matt alligator Kelly belt let's see where is it there you are you guys I love this belt I've seen it in person a couple of times excuse me one second that was a motorcycle <laughs> Christian, yes, the, the silver is gone. The silver is gone. The silver has been replaced. Uh, we have a new Chanel friend. I found something that was better for me, but my next video uh, is a review um, on the Chanel flap and why it did not work out for me. It is um, a little scathing, and I, I'm hope, I hope, I'm hoping you guys are ready for it because I think I'm off the Chanel classic. 
I think so. Hermes Kelly Phelps. Okay, I think I love this. I think, even though obviously I don't wear pink, so the idea of this belt, like every single time, like I love this belt every single time. I think, I think I want one. I think that this is one that I, I could potentially see myself adding to my wish list one day. That's like caveat on top of caveat on top of caveat. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, Marsha, I decided that at some point in this live stream, uh, you're going to see the new, the new Chanel bag. I'm going to show you guys because, you know, it means a lot to me that, you know, you're taking your, your Monday night to come chat handbags and, and shop with me on the internet. So you're going to see it. You can see it here first. That's right. I just randomly decided to do that. However, first we're gonna look at this belt. Goodness gracious. There's the link. <laughs> okay, so like I said, hear me out. This is an Hermes belt, and I know that like the, there's the H1, and I think like honestly, like that one, I'm kind of over it. Um, for me and Hermes, I don't really like so much when they have things that are just emblazoned with the H on it, like the click H bracelet, the, uh, the Evelyn, um, the, the H belt. I'm not into it. I more so like when Hermes has like, you, you see like those like signifiers that aren't like just all out logos. Like if you look at this, this looks like, this looks like a Kelly. When you look at this, this, um, this lock clasp thing. Um, but yeah, that's right. This belt is, if you know, you know. So I have a bracelet that has the Kelly lock. I would, I think it would be really cool if they, if they did more of it with shoes. Um, I would be super into it, but okay. The belt is $2,000, which, okay. Yes, that is, that is objectively a lot of money for a belt, but it's Matt alligator. Matt Alligator uh, with Hermes, their gold is actually plated gold, unlike others. Um, and what's really cool about this belt is that it slides. So this is going to be so. What's great about this is that it slides. We had one at work last week, I think, in a leather, and um, it goes. It like it's very very generous. So it can go like little little tiny, and it can go like like much bigger. So. Mm. I wish they showed a photo on the mannequin. That's very annoying. But let's, let's see if it has measurements. Uh, so the length, okay, so wow, wow. See, I think a lot of people aren't gonna know how cool this belt is because it doesn't have any info on it. Okay, so if you aren't familiar with this belt, um, it's one of the slide ones. Like you see these two um, straps right here on the sides. Um, it's, I think I, I think I have one. You know what? I do have one. I'm going to, let me go grab it. Hold on. One second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sandy, I understand. <laughs> I understand. I'm trying to make a point more so, I guess, about the belt just being cool. Yes, that's, that is very fair. <laughs> okay, this is the type of belt that it is. And it really, it, it's a missed opportunity, I think, to like show all the details um, on the Fashion Files site. Like, you don't really get the picture of what this belt is. I guess like you have to already know what it is, um, but it's one of these. So I, you know, took this from my mom when, in high school. Uh, this is the type that, can you see me? Actually, let's put that away for a second. Okay, hi, I'm back. So it's one of these. So this can like slide to accommodate a whole bunch of different sizes. And then you like undo it like that and it's this long and then you 
slide it in for here. So it's great if you um, want to wear it between your waist and hips. Um, it's great if you, you know, uh, how do I say this? Um, maybe put on a few pounds uh, post COVID. Uh, happened to a lot of us miraculously. So it's like pretty much with most of the belts that are mez, once you outgrow it, like that's, that's it. Like you pretty much have to like wash your hands of it. So maybe it doesn't have to be $2,000, but it's 1800 with the code. It is pink. Okay. 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 We move on. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. I needed to hear that. <laughs> you know what it is? I'm just a fan of the belt. I just really am a fan of the belt. I'm really a fan. Um, what else? Okay, let's go back down to where we were. Um, the Gabrielle and the Medium for $34.95. That's not bad. Um, so, oh, here's some news. The Bottega pouch. Uh, this one, I hate this color. I'll be very honest. Um, but the Bottega pouches, just like clockwork, uh, they are going down in value all of a sudden. Like they used to be very hard to find. Uh, they used to sell at retail and now like, you know, they're beginning to sit a little bit. So, um, this one will be with the code going for 2440. Um, that, I th yeah, it says retail here is about 36 and yeah, you know, I was just, it was just a matter of time before this happens. This is not one that is going to like, this is going to be that bag for that moment. And I think, you know, I think that the sun is setting on the Bottega pouch to be very, very honest. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I have been wrong so many times. <laughs> So my word is not the gospel, but what I, I do share is just what I see on the ground, um, you know, on the day to day, on the resale market, you know, what people are actually willing to pony up money for. And these are selling, but they're selling for like much lower. Like we, like when you try to price them at like, like back when it was 3000, um, I think it's gone up since then, but when it was 3000, we tried to price it at 29 and they were going at 29. Now that they've gone up, the price on resale has actually gone down. So that is just, uh, something, something to be aware of. I don't love the bag personally, but I made my little, my little dupe. You know, I don't think I posted that here on YouTube. I think it's only on, on like TikTok and Instagram. I think. So Christian, what do you think of the Valentino rock stud bag? Is it the classic or the Roman stud? I know some people say it's over, but is it classic? Um, listen, I don't let people tell me anything that I love is over. <laughs> so, um, no, uh, but I definitely do prefer the Roman stud. Um, and with Valentino, I really, really, really love the Super V collection. Um, but the, the rock stud bags, like they definitely have been around for a couple of years now. So, you know, if you love it, if that is what, you know, makes you smile on the inside, then I definitely think that you should consider it. I would, however, caution you definitely buy it resale. Do not buy it full retail. Do not like there was actually, there used to be stores here in Miami that would have the Valentino go 40% off twice a year. Um, so try to find it on sale, whatever the bag is. Um, um, but I'll be honest, the micro stud of that bag, I, I, I've never been a huge fan, but you know, you do see them out there definitely. And I would caution you that the leather on those can be, um, delicate. It's like very, very, very buttery soft lambskin, like so much that it like gives me anxiety, but they are very nice. Mm, okay. So yeah, there's a lot of jewelry. I see a lot of like watches and you guys know that that is just not my jam at all. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, fun. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's have a look at this one. This is intriguing. This is intriguing. This is a leather Deauville. Granted it's white. So only for the brave. <laughs> um, hold on. I think I should know. Isn't it 
pull this one? No. Sorry, I am coming back. I'm gonna put a link for this one in the chat because I think it's fabulous so far. Hold on, you know what? I'm trying to be objective and we're gonna reserve judgment. I'm going to reserve judgment on this one because my like finger is like itching right now. <laughs> All right. So maybe next time I will have the links ready beforehand. But next time I'll have more notice and I'll like tell you guys this days in advance so you'll be ready. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is super fun. I'm glad I have, you know, a couple of you that, you know, just want to sit and chat with me and, you know, scroll through the sites randomly when, on a Monday night. It means a lot. <laughs> Okay, so this Deauville is going to come to how much? $29.50. Okay. I'm tempted. Okay, the link is now in the live chat. Uh, if you want to check that out. Let's have a look at this. First, we, okay, let's look, just look at the pictures. It's white. So, you know, it's white, but it's leather. Silver studs, silver hardware. Um, it looks pretty clean on the back. Let me just turn my screen up to be sure. I think that that might be a shadow. Let's see, I'm reserving judgment. Also, my computer screen is super dirty, so that's kind of on me. Um, okay, here's the bottom. The bottom doesn't look perfect, but it does look very good. Okay. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm almost ready to call it, you guys. Inside is clean. What am I missing? What am I missing? Okay, because these leather ones, uh, they tend to go for like into the fours. So the 25 series, so it's a little bit older, older, like so 2017, I think. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that on the inside or the outside? Yeah, it looks like it has cuts. Oh, man. No. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Oh, let's, let's, let's see what it says in the description. Condition it says is good. Creases, edge wear, tear, or cut exterior. Okay, so that's on the exterior on the back. That must have been that thing that I saw Man, I, yeah, that's, that's what I saw right here. It must be this. These are tears in the leather. Okay. So with this coming in at 2950, I think that, you know, in excellent condition, it would be, how, how, how do you do that to your bag? This poor bag. Goodness gracious. Yeah. So. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Thank you, BD. That's exactly what I was going for. I'm, I'm glad you uh, what's it, uh, picked up what I put down. <laughs> um, but yeah, so honestly, in this is 3150 coming down to 2950 in excellent condition without cuts and tears. This would be uh, probably a thousand dollars more. Um, this may be something you would want to, you could consider um, taking to a cobbler or leather surgeons. I'm sure there's something that they can do to like, to mend those tears in the leather, but oh man, that's upsetting. Like, okay, we're, S Sandy, thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Leather surgeons, they can fix that. But, and this is, this is a polling of the room. Um, do we think that, are you spending, 2900 on something that you need to repair. 
Uh, L. Ingram. I was eyeing the Deauville in red, but it's sold now. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, see, I, let's, if they if they would have given me a little bit more notice on this, then that we would be having this conversation when it was still available. Yeah, you should, you should tell them. You should write them, write Fashion File a letter and tell them that, tell me about the sales. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they've been, they've been very, very sweet. Um, okay, show of hands, do we think it's worth it? Do we think it's worth it? Does it come with anything? Comes with the dust bag? Okay, so that means no card, no box. It's from 2018. Okay, Sandy says yes. Christian says no. <laughs> I am torn. Like, this is nice. This is a nice bag. BD says no, so that's two no's, one yes. I think I'm going to say yes. Maybe for a little less, Marcia says. That's a maybe. I don't, I don't know how to count that. Um, <laughs> man, see, almost 3K and you have to fix it. No for me. Okay, thank you. <sighs> These are the uh, voices of reason. Because you know what it is? I love the Deauville. I love anything top handle with shoulder straps. I have that exact silhouette. Let's go to it. And it's caviar. You know, oh, it's not that bad though, right? Is it that bad? Is it, it's that bad. <laughs> I kind of love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah, maybe maybe if it were less money, because this is going to come in with the code at twenty nine fifty. This should be what? Okay, so what would what price would you want to pay for this? Um, I think that retail. Does it say retail here? Retail is. 30, that's not right. There's no way that a leather caviar Deauville. Um, uh, uh, uh. Chanel Deauville leather. Does it work? Yeah, so I see one on Fashion File in black for $52.80. This one is $29. I mean, and I think that this is repairable. I think that that is fixable. It is something that can be fixed for like maybe another $200. Hi. Okay. I wish I, wish I could do polls in here. That would be cool. Oh, well. Okay, I think I think the overwhelming consensus for the room is no, but I think I would go for it. Yeah, I think I would. Maybe that's an indictment on me, but <laughs> because the main thing that I love about the leather Deauville, okay, Christian says twenty two hundred. Yeah, and anyone else have numbers that they would pay for something like this in this condition? Because the condition itself is actually good. It's just kind of like it's it's damaged, not worn. And it's something that's fixable. Oop, that's my light. Uh-oh. Um, let's turn this one up then. Okay, well, is, is that gonna be eh, whatever? Um, okay. You know what? Then I'm just gonna turn this one to my color. Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties here. Okay, now I'm gonna be yellow. How about that? How's that? <laughs> um, okay. Maybe yes to 2,000. Kamisha says 1,000. Okay, okay, okay. 29 is maybe a little ridiculous for something that has been in a knife fight. <laughs> I do like it though, because the whole point for me in the Deauville, the reason I don't like it, the reason I don't have one, is because the canvas ones that are, the canvas ones aren't structured, and I just see people carrying the Deauville all the time here in Miami, and they are, like, you just see them, and they're just so schlumpy out in the world, and the leather ones are nice and structured, and they stand up, and they just look so much more luxurious. Um... L. Ingram, it's cool. You love it, so why not? Plus, once you see it in person, you'll know better. 
I love the return policy. Yes, that is very true. Fashion File does offer returns. They offer returns so you can, you know, actually have a look at it. You have 30 days to return it. So um, you can, you know, get in touch with a cobbler of your choice. Leather Surgeons is always a great one. Um, and, you know, have a, and see, see, like, have them give you a quote, an estimate. And if it doesn't work out, then you can always send it back. Oh, who remembers this? I just, have to, I just have to take a moment for this bag. I wanted to like this bag so much and just nah. <laughs> Who remembers? I, I, wanted, I wanted this bag to happen so badly and it just didn't work out. So I'm again, pining, pining it from afar. Marsha, how many? <laughs> how many do you see in leather? I'm laughing at Sandy. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, how many do you see in leather? I see a lot less of them in leather. Um, that's going to be for several reasons. They're definitely more expensive by like a thousand dollars. And I think that it's like just more of a cool and casual type of vibe when people are going for the Deauville. Um, but if I were to ever get one, then I would get one in leather and yeah. Okay. So what else do we see? So this, okay. Here we were here. Um, reserve it and call the doctor. Sandy, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm willing to put the work in. I for sure am. <clears throat> Ooh, what is this? You know what? I have never seen the Montaigne in this size before. Oh, intriguing. I don't know about 2,500 necessarily, but... Um, mm, I think I like this. This would come to 2,350. Um, oh, if you want to see this one, I will put a link in the chat for you. See, I've always, I've seen the, sorry for the outside happening, but I've seen the, this is the Montaigne. I have never seen it in the GM in my life. And this one looks really nice. I do wish they had a mod shot on it though, because that would be better. Because this would be like a work bag. Yeah, I think I think I I'm into a Louis monogram work bag again. Sandy, no, you are not a good influence. <laughs> Uh, Lisi, the GM looks like you could fit a small child. Um, that, those are my favorite kind. I, I need a small child to, to justify carrying all of these huge bags that I love because I have so many and I love them. Um, I'm GM. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a link to this one in the chat so you can have a look at it if this is something you're into. Montaigne GM. Montaigne. Are you from Montaigne? Yes, it is. The Montaigne GM. You always see that it comes in three sizes, but you never actually see the sizes. I like. There was a time years ago where I was into this bag and I only saw the medium. I never knew that they made like a work size and it has the divider. Oh, I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay. Excuse me. Made in USA from 2018. Although I don't see a strap. Does it have the strap? Strap not included. Come on, guys. 
I do like this bag. So the base length is 15.75. So it's 15 and three quarters. Um, um, that's going to be perfect for a laptop. Um, matter of fact, like, to be honest, I have a strap, but I don't know that I'm okay with spending 2300 on something that's missing a strap. I don't know, man. Even though, like, I myself would sell the strap. Okay. Maybe, I, maybe I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> okay. So, go off though. I'm going to put a pin in that. That is something I'm going to look out for in the future. Um, because I need something exactly that size with that type of structure. Um, that's what I need. I think that's the size of a Neverfull GM. You know, I've always been confused about the Neverfull GM. I think they measure it from the bottom because it's much taller, like much wider in the top. Like, let me grab my, hold on. Let me grab my G1 This is exactly, hold on. This is exactly the same size as a GM Neverfull. And this part here is like 20 something inches, right? So this is a GM. And I think that that Montane, can you see? Yeah. The Montane is, is gonna be much smaller than this. And I feel like I need something that's smaller than this. I use this one mostly for traveling now which I did a lot of last week. Well, everything in the kitchen sink. Okay. Um, over monogram. Plus it doesn't have the shoulder strap too big without a strap and too heavy. See, for me, that's the thing. I have a strap. I bought the strap um, to go with my St. Cloud. Um, hold on, where are we? Um, okay, get back to it. Um, right. So mini cocoa handle and fuchsia 6,400. Okay. You guys honest, honest opinion on the mini cocoa handle. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> this bag fits nothing. This bag fits nothing. Like your phone can't fit inside of it. Oh, well, and this isn't the mini. Okay, no, this is bigger. This is bigger than the one than the one that I thought it was because I wish they made strap drops longer for larger totes. Agree. You know what? I wish they did. I wish they made every strap adjustable. Why not just make it adjustable every time? <laughs> like every time they make a bag that doesn't have an adjustable strap, like that is, that was a decision that someone made. And you know what too? It's actually cheaper because you're able to use shorter segments of, of the material. Um, I just don't get why they do it or don't do it. Every time it should be adjustable every time. Um, they have Rolexes. I don't know anything about those, but look at that Cartier love bracelet. People go all nuts over those every single time. Like if you even whisper Cartier love bracelet at work, like I feel like people just like show up through the air vents to say, oh my God, do you have one? They always sell immediately. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, so mm, the Lock Me collection for LV, I was never a fan. I actually saw one in person and they, they don't, I should probably should have closed the window. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, they, they wear really, really easily. So I definitely, it's, that's not one that I, I very highly recommend. Okay. Question about this. Uh, black Hermes Picatine. Let's have a look at that. I'll do that one after, after here. I have, I've been looking for an LV bag that's big. I kind of have my sights on this one, 
but I would obviously have to get an organizer for it. What do you think? No, okay, no, no, that's too slouchy. I hate it. Okay, I, I've answered my own question. Never mind. <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> is this the one sandy um this says natural berenia in a ben that's probably going to be a brown but let me know if that's the one yes okay good let's look at it um okay so I, so this one is going to be brown. It's not black, I think, but I, it has orange trim. That's cool. Oh, fun. See, I've never been a huge fan of this bag, but I know a lot of people love it. So this one is Berenia leather, so it's smooth, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be like super scratchy. Like there's different types of smooth leather. There's some to be afraid of and some to be less afraid. Um... Okay, it's like a brown with orange trim. Very good condition, comes with a dust bag. And price is $32.10. It looks like it's missing the lock though. So it's gonna come to 3,000 and no lock. And just remember with this bag, you need the lock in order, in order for the strap to actually fasten. Um, otherwise it won't. Let's just double check that. It comes with a dust bag only from 2004. Um, now obviously, yes, you can just go get a lock from Hermes, but I, I, I just, I, I'm dicey about them and ex expecting service in the Hermes store. I don't know. It gives me anxiety. I feel like I don't like going in designer stores anymore. <laughs> like all of the parts and pieces, like, what are you doing? Yeah. So this one, I'm going to say not so much recommend. Um, because like you can't fasten it without that lock part. Right here is where the lock is. And otherwise this strap will, will like just completely fall, uh, go through these buckles. So not so much. So far, so far, I'm going to tentatively say, I say yes on the, the Swiss cheese dough bill. I, I say yes, I, I, I would buy it, I would buy it. Um, hi, Caroline, what do you think of the YSL Nikki bag? Did I see that here? The, was this this one? No, that's the sunset. YSL Nikki. It, I don't know why it's hard for me to remember the names of some of the YSL bags. And they name them like after people I can't, I can't do it. YSL Nikki. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Nikki, I like, I think that it is a more, a less puffy version of the Lulu. So if you're not into the puffiness, then you should go for the Nikki. But I love YSL. I love just about everything that, that I've seen them do in the last five years. So I'm a fan. Ooh, wait, wait. Do we like that? Wait, I like this. <laughs> this is fabulous. Am I alone? Okay, this is the Hermes Wicker Swift Medora Picnic Cuff Bracelet in Nata Leather. Uh, this is so cool. Aziz Sam from 21. So cool! Giftable, which means it's going to come with a box, right? Yes, it comes with a box. Uh, it doesn't say what size it is, but the circumference is five and a half. Um, that means it would fit me. And it would come to 1400 Like, honestly, with this, it doesn't even matter what the retail is um, because I, I doubt you'd be able to just walk into a, into an Hermes store and get one, obviously, or, you know, buy one on um, 
Um, the website. Sorry. Space for a second. Um, I think that's super cute. And it would be like 1300 for an Hermes bracelet. And I think that the, the leather ones, I think, go for about that. And this even has like a little bit of leather on it. Nick, Nick, is it Midor? Yeah. So if you like this one, then I'm going to put a link in the chat. Um, uh, 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 Hermes Picnic. Okay. I'm into this. That's two things so far that I definitely think are worth it to buy. This looks like it has the plastic on it. It's completely brand new. Um, I feel like the studs look crooked. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Can we get a better picture? No, there isn't one like dead on. That's annoying. Let's see. Do the studs look crooked? It's a little hard to tell. That could be the plastic on it. Uh, it's very hard to tell. Hmm. But I, but I see what you see. Yeah. But they need a, another picture. I don't know. I like it though. I like it. Okay. By the way, if you are, um, if you guys see anything uh, you want me to have a look at, then let me know here in the chat. Um, quilted Petite Timeless Tote, 1995. Probably going to be vintage. It would come to 17. That probably means that it has some wear on it. I can just, just from that little two seconds, I can see a little bit of tarnishing, I think. But, oh no, that's tiny. Okay, no, I take it back. That's so small. Okay, no. What's up with their photos recently? Very poor quality shots. You know what? It's probably just an influx of... Oh man, influx of merchandise and growing pains. I think that every industry is affected by trying to squeeze as much like, sorry, production out of its people as possible and probably growing pains. That would be, that would be my guess. That would be my guess. Cause I can imagine that they, you know, they're taking in merchandise now from all over the country, whereas people were used to just send it in one by one. Probably not one by one, but you know what I mean. That's the thing. Consignment is just a lot of work, and every industry is having issues like this. Um, okay. Wait, I like this. I like this, but I have a feeling that it's patent, so I'm afraid. Did anyone notice that Fashion File Outlet is gone? Uh, I did notice that, Christian, actually. I, I did notice that. Um, it's interesting. Maybe maybe they just, like, stopped taking it, uh, stopped taking in items at that, at that caliber because I think the stuff wasn't selling and they were just having to mark it down. Like, it's, honestly, like, as someone who does this for a living, it is very hard to put a valuation on something that is – supposed to be very expensive but then it's completely like damaged so like wh what would this bag be worth if it had a giant smear of color transfer going across the front and that's kind of kind of the stuff that was that was um that was happening so it's it's hard to value it like if you if think about it from your end like like earlier with the the slash deauville <laughs> fortunately that would have been an outlet before um and now it's just $3,000. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, it is hard to hard to it, hard to place value on things like that because you know people if it's been run over by a truck, you know people want to pay two dollars for it, and that's not really unfortunately not not really like you know a good investment of time if you are a company as large as this. That's that's what I'll say on it. Um, but yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Or you know what it is like when I come across stuff like that, I just don't take it. I don't totally, matter of fact, my um this tote I got on the fashion file outlet years and years ago. This was I, I bought this on the outlet back when it was on eBay. So that would have been 20 like 16. Because it actually had a cut on it right here. And I ended up taking it to Givenchy to get it repaired. Hopefully you can see that. Like this extra piece of leather. Wait, here we go. This extra piece of leather was added by Givenchy, but I bought it and it had a tear right here in the um, neck next to the strap. So yeah, but definitely were gems. Definitely were gems. Um, but in case you can't tell, I'm kind of obsessed with this. I really am into glitter right now. I can probably make you a link. Let's make a link. Yeah, I think basically the outlet isn't gone. It's just, um, let's see. Oops. It's just in the sale section. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's, oh. Hold on. I'm in another tab, but I want to see what the outlet says now. Because it, it's still in the menu. But I, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Breaking, breaking. The outlet is now last call. And the last call is the 15 days of rolling discounts. And there are 485 items currently available on last call. So last call is just basically the outlet. Yeah, sorry, outlet is now last call. Um, hold on. And, oh, that could be a fun video one day to do like, let's shop the outlet. Um, I am going to put a link to it here. Wow, I called it the outlet, but it's not. That's okay. That's cool. Okay. This is where all that stuff is now, and I think that they have overall like gotten away from taking any shoes whatsoever. But now, okay, back to this. One thing at a time, my brain is kind of all over the place. <laughs> okay. Hi, ballet dancer. Um... Okay, YSL Glitter. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Okay. Here is the YSL glitter that I've had on the screen for like 10 minutes. Sorry, I got sidetracked. So this is the Kate Tassel in Cobalt glitter going for $13.15. Um, retail is $16.90, that sounds right. This is not the wallet on chain, I don't believe. Um, it's probably patent leather, and it's the actual bag version. This, so this is, oh wait, no, it is the wallet on chain. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. The only thing about this bag is that the tassel is a lot for me. I wish this tassel was shorter. Oh, sorry. I messed that up. ISL glitter. Otherwise, the link won't work. There we go. Uh, I love this. I think it's really fun. I think that this is a way to do glitter a little bit more subtly, if that's not too much of an oxymoron. <laughs> 
um, yeah, this is fun. This is a very fun one. Um, and it's, it's going to, you know, have spaces for all your cards and everything. A uh, good crossbody. And let's see if the chain is detachable. The chain is detachable, so you can carry it as a clutch or um, add the chain to something else. Get a new chain, make a shorter chain, do all types of things. So this one I'm definitely a fan of. I think the glitter is very fun. Um, and let's see, does it come, it comes with a strap and a dust bag? It's from 2018. You know what? I think I'm due to make a trip to the outlets. Because something like this probably um, ended up at the outlet. And uh, I live in Miami, so the outlet for me is Sawgrass Mills. And I haven't been there in three, four years. The last time I went was in 2018. Okay, by the way, if you guys see anything that you want to chat about, good, bad, or indifferent, <clears throat> uh, let me know. Um, this is kind of cool. I'm not into watches, but I like Chanel. But I'm not into watches. <laughs> yeah. How about the Chanel Gabrielle in metallic? I did see that. Okay, that would be this one. Um. This looks like the large size. Okay, so saw one on I think the first page that was the medium and it was like a bit darker of a silver, but you know, I just generally, I think I am a fan of the metallic versions of the Gabrielle. I don't know. I like metallic leather. Maybe that's maybe that's like a maybe it's like a new thing for me right now. I'm going through a metallic leather phase. Um, Chanel silver gab. Um, okay, here's the link for this one. Chanel silver Gabriel. Uh, there's the link for that one. Um, so this is the large size though. And I think that this size is a little bit awkward, honestly, like it's, I don't know. I would worry about it like slouching a little bit too much, like in the mini or in the mini smaller sizes. Um, I think it's fine, but then again, who am I kidding? I, I like big bags. And I cannot lie. <laughs> God, that was embarrassing. I can't believe I said that on the internet. Apologies. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, there's just a little bit of marking right here in the corners and just some <clears throat> minor puncturing, kind of. I think I I think I'm just drawn to the metallic. The rest of the bag, not so much. But I love when metallic bags mix the metals. Oh, I forgot to look at the price. Hold on. Wait. Whoopsies. Price is $35.65. So that would come to $33.65 for the large size of this bag. Um, this one is going to come with a box and a car. So, excuse me, a, a dust bag and a card. Um, it is from 2017. I think that is not a bad price for it, for sure. Not a bad price at all. Um, 
Okay. Any more suggestions? I am going to have to take a bathroom break in a second. But let's ruin the Dior, Dior Ever and Silver Metallic was out. <gasps> you know what? Actually, since you said that, um, the what's the one that I like? The Diorama. I recently saw that on Fashion File here in silver patent or like silver metallic glazed leather with gold hardware and gold studs. And I'm like, oh, I might need to buy that. I'm so obsessed with it. I'm so obsessed with that bag. Um, oh, here's another example of uh, my hobby horse of 2022. Not buying patent leather. I'm going to call it out every time. You guys, don't buy patent leather. Because look what happens. I can, I, can, I can see it from the little thumbnail. Can you see it? Oops. There's like a little bit of like dark tinge to it. That's like reddish that I saw for like a second. No, you don't really see it in the photos. Never mind. But this bag, this is a reissue, uh, the 226, and it's going for $39.95. Not so much. Which one is the Dior Ever? Dior ever. Dior ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the tote one. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Where were we? Here. The Ikare? Ikare? Um, the Ikare briefcase. That's a good one. It's just that. You know, I don't really see a lot of, like, guys who would be willing to carry that bag, to be very honest. That's probably why they go for so low. If you make them into unisex, then maybe. Um, boom, boom. How were you able to get your Givenchy bag repaired? I brought my bag to the Givenchy store. I actually did a whole video on it years and years ago um, because I – was treated very poorly when I went into the uh, satellite boutique inside of Saks um, and got the exact opposite treatment when I went into the Givenchy boutique here in Design District. Um, so it was kind of like reverse of what I expected. Um, the people at, at the Givenchy store were a complete delight. Um, yeah, that's way back in like the early days of my channel. Um, I did a whole like, you know, it was a not not great but it ended up working out fine and i love my bag but it really honestly like in the very beginning put me off designer stores which is part of the reason why i'm here this is just a better experience for me <laughs> okay I'm, i've been obsessed with this bag forever and i think I'm almost ready to pull the trigger on it. Not this specific one in this color. This is not my color, but. Oh, here's that uh, Roman stud um, Valentino for Christian. I think I, I like that in the bigger studs better than the classic, than the classic rock stud one. Um, I have a vintage black Chanel walk in black patent leather that only comes out at night like a vampire. Yeah, that's that's what that bag is for though, honestly. Like, I don't see the wallet on chain as, like, a daytime bag. I really don't. I I think it's for, it's for nighttime, and I think that's fine. Nighttime is where it belongs. Um, okay, does anyone else want to see anything before I go to the bathroom? Um... Oh, here we go. Let me know what are your thoughts on the cuisine from Louis Vuitton. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm going to put this one up on the screen. Ready me with your thoughts on the cuisine because I'm not sure. Oh, look. Oh, look. They have a, they have a mannequin shot on the bag. I think this is the first one we've seen in two hours in an hour and a half. 
Um, but anywho, I'm going to go to the bathroom and be right back. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so initially on this bag, I wasn't a fan, but I think that's changed. I like it. I just don't know that I like it for the price, but I do actually like the bag. And for me, like that is like for me to actually like a bag is enough of a hurdle to be to be completely honest. All right, I'm just going to hit the hair with a little bit of conditioner spray. Total trend would prefer a toiletry pouch converted to a bag with a chain added. Christian, I agree with you. That's, I think that's a correct opinion. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Yeah. I do like the leather. I do like the embossing. Um, but I just, I just can't get here. I'm not here. I'm not at 4,500. I think that, I think it retails at like five thousand, and not so much. But I like this. I like the look, and there's not a lot that I like the look of lately. Like, let me stop drinking green tea at what nine thirty at night. There we go. Okay. Yeah. That's true. So it'll come to like 4,300 instead of 45. Um, that's still a lot though. Um, where were we? Here. Okay. These two colors are beautiful together. Um, I have to say, I really wish that I liked Hermes. I've tried and I just don't, I just don't. <laughs> this is a cool one. That's fun. Is it just metallic leather? Is it just that? Whoa. Okay, yeah, this is a lot of bag. But I think that's that's cool. I don't know if I would wear or carry this because I don't really wear red, but that's a cool bag. Boom, boom, yeah, of course. Um, I, I was, okay, so to clarify, and this was a video that I did before. It was at the Saks Boutique where they were not nice to me at the Givenchy Boutique, like standalone boutique in Ball Harbor, which is, um, if you're not familiar with Miami, which is like our, you know, Fifth Avenue, um, which is our Fifth Avenue, um, there they were completely delightful. I still have the guy's number on my phone. And yeah, so... And it ended up working out okay, but actually, funny story. Um, I don't know if you can see that giant bag. Can you see? There's a on, on top of my bag shelf. There's a giant bag that's white from Givenchy. It was actually from that day, <laughs> and <laughs> I was so I I walked in and I was carrying. Uh, I brought my bag in to get service at Saks. And I was carrying that bag, um, and they, they told me that they weren't going to service it. So I was like, well, can you give me something to put it in? So they ended up giving me that huge ass bag. <laughs> it's like the size of like a, what, like, what are they called? Sandwich boards. Um, and, <laughs> and I'll just say that when you walk around Ball Harbor with a giant, and I mean 
giant, I don't know if you can see me all the way, but just giant, huge bag from Givenchy. Like everyone in every store treats you so much differently. So that's definitely something to try if you want a little, a little ego boost. Just walk around your fancy mall with just a giant bag from any of the stores. <laughs> Pro tip. That would actually be a really funny video to make, but I don't vlog, so. Okay. <laughs> now that we've gone down that tangent. <laughs> um, oh, yes. The dad sandals. The dad sandals the dad sandals. I think people just buy them because they get off offered them. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Well, it's like pouring outside now. Um, okay. Let me know how you feel about this one because I am into this. This is the um, so you bought a Givenchy secondhand and you want some repairs so I'm not sure if they will turn me away. Um, you know what? I wish that I had better assistance, like way to assist you in that, but it just depends on how they're feeling that day. <laughs> Honestly, um, I my I guess first would recommend going to a boutique, as opposed like standalone boutique as opposed to Saks. But that really, I think I just got lucky. Big mistake. No, actually, Marsha, the big mistake was all of the other people. It's, it's like they saw that movie and internalized it, thinking that I was going to come in there and, like, drop five grand, but I wasn't. I was carrying a repaired bag or a bag to be repaired that I'd already purchased. So joke's on them. It's just when you walk around there without a giant shopping bag, they treat you one way. But when you walk around, like, with the giant shopping bag, thinking that they think you spent money somewhere else and, you know... Anyways, what are our thoughts on this? I love this print. This is the by the pool collection or pool broom or something. And I've seen it in person. It is so pretty. But A, I hate backpacks. And B, I hate tiny bags. And this is a tiny backpack. So, um, oh, you know what? This is actually cute because it has a little pocket right here. How fun. So this one is $21.95, and I think that it might be over retail, not sure. It looks like it's in excellent condition, though. Um, dust bag and two straps. I think this is so cute. If I liked backpacks, I would be very into this. I really like the ombre, and I think this is like a better take on when they did the um, tie dye. The tie dye was a little much for me, but this one, uh, and this would come to like 19, is that right? 1995. Oh, how about the Chanel 19 in yellow next? I think I saw that and I think I'm pretty sure it's sequins. So yeah, we'll do that one next. Um, okay. Do we like this? I mean, I don't see myself in this color because it's very pastel, but I just do really have an appreciation of this collection. Okay. The Chanel. You know what I should have done? I should have just filtered out all of the watches and all the jewelry because... I'm just not even. Yellow 19. Uh, it looks like they increased the prices so that you can use the discount code. That's entirely possible. They do that, but, but. And I've seen places like on um, like Facebook message message boards and or, or groups talk about like that being dishonest. I just need you guys to know that literally every retailer does this. Literally all of them. When you go to Target... And, and Macy's and it's their, their one day sale where everything's 40% off, they bump the prices up beforehand. So 
that is just the nature of retail, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, all right. Sequin yellow medium Chanel 19. Sequin yellow Chanel 19. I've seen the sequin before, I think in purple. And this is very, very fun. Now, I'm not generally into the 19 bag. Um, and I think, okay, the one thing I think about this is that I wish that on this specific color, it didn't have the gunmetal and the ruthenium hardware because I think it kind of clashes. But other than that, I'm into it. 30 is 2021. Great reminder not to make an impulse purchase. Correct, correct. We are not into impulse purchasing here at KW Shops. Impulse purchasing is generally not the um, pathway to success in buying, generally. I've, I've actually had great luck, but in some of my impulse purchases. <laughs> but do as I say, not as I do. Uh, so it looks like plastics in here on the interior. It looks like this is new. 6405, uh, the 19, I think, I, this is very good condition. It's a, it comes with a box. So this one's a full set. And uh, handle, edge wear, creases, marks. I mean, it's hard to mark something that's sequined, though. How do you... I don't know that I see anything. I know I just really have an appreciation for these sequins because the sequins are clear. And you know what, actually, Marsha, the reminder not to make an impulse purchase. You know what, like, if you are in the market for something and it just so happens to go on sale, great, you know? I'm kind of in the market for a Diorama right now and couple of them just so happened to go on sale. <laughs> now, I did not leave a ballet dancer. You have a large scrunchie in that color. <laughs> That's funny. I actually just bought some scrunchies. And I wear them at night. They're very useful. Mm. Okay, this was one I wanted to delve into. Because I did like a little preview of this before, uh, before I got started. And this is definitely one that I'm going to send you guys a link to because it's kind of cool. But I haven't looked at the, because yeah, you're seeing all my reactions to all of these bags in real time. I haven't like actually seen like what the condition is on them. So tentatively, I'm going to say, ooh, what have we here? This looks kind of nice, right? What have we here? Um, I need a faster way to do this. Oh well, the more I do it, the faster I will get. I think that I'm doing pretty okay this time around. Um, oh, also too, um, by the way, if I'm always in search of video topics if there's anything that you want to see uh, about the pre-loved market uh, anything that you you guys want to know definitely happy to field some topics from you guys Hold on. while i'm doing this i'm doing too many things at once and now this isn't working. Okay. Well, for now, we're just going to have to use this one because I quit. Okay. Back to where we were. I think I'm into this. I just want to see the size. So first up, I'm just looking at it. I see some coated canvas, which Chanel doesn't do very often. Um, let me make myself smaller. There we go coated canvas and this looks like some type of enamel so it's black Hold on. okay giant cc's 
This looks like a shoulder toad of a size. Very neat that I keep hearing that. Some structure loss. So it's kind of like a bit of like a puffy tote. Um, interior pockets. See, I miss, I miss the, I miss the mod shots. It really would be useful to see this on a mannequin to see how big it is because it looks like it could be big. And at 200 off, is it a tote bag? It looks like it's a tote bag. Like it looks like these straps should go like up and you should be able to carry it on your shoulders. So now let's look at the measurements because I feel like I've seen this bag before. Um, it comes with a dust bag and it comes with a little pouch. That's cool. So the base length is 14. The height is 10. So it's 14 by 10. So it might be able to fit a laptop. And the strap drop is eight inches. Do I have my measurement paper here? Eight inch strap drop. So yes, this is going to be a pretty big sized tote. Eight inches is here. That. I don't know if you can see that. Eh, I don't know about that strap drop. It seems a little short, but I like it. I like this a lot. Hold on. Let's see what the description says. This is large structured tote, beautifully crafted for the canvas, beige, plastic, so plastic enamel, um, CC logo patch, rolled black leather strap handles with knotted ends, leather. That's not leather. Oh, wait, maybe this is leather? That's like rope. Okay, that's not leather. <laughs> but let's see. Um, yeah, that's that's like rope. It's like a braided rope. And this is I think that's canvas, but to be honest, I have seen Chanel do leathers. Like this is similar to the texture of the leather that my silver bag was, but I do think that this is canvas. Let's, let's assess. Let's assess. Coated canvas. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is from 2008. Comes with a dust bag and another little pouch. I love this. I think this is like bag of the day. Um, condition is stated is very good, but uh, for a bag that is over 10 years old, some creases, scuffs, marks, peeling. Peeling is probably in the like corner area. Or some, maybe part of the coating, perhaps. I like this, though. Very, like, loud CCs, but not, like, crazy. And it's something different. You know, I, I always love something different. Always love something different. Uh, Christian, best vintage, good-for-money value bags from the top brands. Great one. I actually did one for, for Chanel a couple of months ago. And that was very, very fun to make. Um, but I'm going to make a little screenshot of that. Thank you. Um, I also did one actually of Mez bags not to buy that are like, good money for value because they're better money but not so good value. But I haven't I haven't done Dior. I've done a look for less on the book tote, but I haven't done Dior. But Thank you for that. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, okay. I like this. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This KW shop seal of approval for sure. And it came into like under 3000, I think. We like it. Okay. Um, let's go to just the bottom. Okay, here. Um, oh yeah, I saw this one too. This one I like a lot. So this is a leather tote. It says iridescent calfskin. Where, where, where did it go? Iridescent calfskin quilted ground control tote in silver. Oh, I like this, it's cool. Oh, look at that lining, how fun. Okay, um, I'm gonna send you guys a link for this one quickly. 
That bag does seem like it's a little bit narrow though, if I'm being honest, but I love the chain detail. It's sort of like a boy chain. No, silver. Okay. I am putting this link up in a second. Channel, silver toe. Okay. So here's this one. Oh, sorry. cannot type right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's look at the size on this. It's 19 by 14. This is going to be like a huge bag. It's from 2017. It's stated as excellent condition. And it's full leather and it's only going for 3000. What am I missing? What 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 am I missing? Comes with a card and it's going to come with a fashion file dust bag. Iridescent toe is luxurious iridescent cast in leather and silver. The back is just a leather strap, top handle, and a large CC logo in the front. Okay, so I like the style and I like the shape and I like the size and I like the details. Um, it, it's like styled after the boy, but not a boy. It has the boy chain and silver hardware and this looks like it's going to be the same length as this leather strap here. So it's more for show, but I guess you could. Um, but it is too narrow. It looks like it's not going to stand up on its own. And for something that huge, that would get on my nerves. This actually reminds me of the cocoon tote, only like a more narrow version of it. So it's like a leather like shopping tote. It is cool though. If it were like a little bit wider, I, I would be all in. And I just want to see, that looks like a stain on the side right there. This is cool though. And this interior is cool too. Um, oh, and it looks like this is the clasp. Let's see. Oh, so this is the clasp right here. And it has... Um, a turn lock one. I like this. I like this a lot. Even though I think that it would need a base shaper. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of its problems could be solved with a base shaper or a personal organizer. So I say yes. I need to say yes to something that's not metallic now <laughs> okay um we're you know what let's go to the next page because we're only on page two <laughs> and in about 10 minutes i think i'm going to show you guys my new chanel bag So here's the diorama, again, calling my name in blue, but I don't need that shade of blue. I don't know what I need, but I know I, I need that bag. I don't know what color. Uh, here's the Lindy. This is a limited edition, never full. I don't like this collection at all. <laughs> this is gold, a metallic lambskin quilted micro cocoa crush bag in gold for 50 51.95. So I almost transposed that. I thought it said 15, but I'm curious to see how big this is. How? Okay. So for $5,200, I'm dubious of this not being like this big, which is why we need, we need a shot on a mannequin, guys. Giftable. 
base length is four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. Can you see that? I don't think my earrings would fit inside this bag. <laughs> This is tiny bag status and um, it is $5,200. So we're gonna, we're gonna scroll past it. <laughs> part of this is shopping, part of this is just browsing, part of this is just looking and seeing things that are interesting. Things that are interesting. Let's see. Um, Okay, if there's anything else, that's a business affinity. Um, her bag, that's on my list of, of affordable Hermes bags not to buy. Um, let's see, okay, so now we're on page three. And let's see what we got. Again, if you guys see anything. Oh, so all these comments just came in. There's a bag or a coin pouch. That's a coin pouch. <laughs> That is correct. That is 5,000 for a coin pouch. Excuse me, 52. 5,200 for a coin pouch, so negative. Um, Celine Nano for 1990. I mean, they would come to 1790, about 1800. People love that bag. Um, is this the same one I saw earlier? Maybe not. I'm kind of into this, even though it's not pink. Even, sorry, even though it is pink. I wish it weren't pink, but I think this is this is cool for like a little crossbody. For a mess, at least. Um, patent quilted maxi double flap in black for four, for thirty nine forty. I'm sure that that is going to have like something like hiding in it. Um, vanity case. I think we have these one of these at work right now. Okay, so for a moment, while I do not like this bag, I love this color. I love this color. This is such a nice color. I want everything in this color for this season. Um, the color is called Kiwi. Uh, I love it. I think of it as like a chartreuse. And I, I want stuff in this color. By the way, I've seen this bag in person. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. I don't like the leather. Like it feels too like foamy. Card holder on chain for twenty five hundred. I saw the boutique on the mannequin. Yeah, you know, you know what it is. I just feel like a card holder on chain. Like to wear your card holder on a chain across your body. To me, it just looks silly. Honestly, like that looks like a. It looks like a long lanyard. <laughs> Right? Isn't the color nice? I want, yeah. What well, next haul video for clothes that I do? I'm, I'm probably gonna. I, I'm trying to find something I really like in that color. I found this matching set from Forever Twenty One, but it, I, it doesn't fit me well. So I'm uh, probably gonna send it back. But I need something in the color. It reminds me of a bunch of potatoes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Okay, um, more luggage. Okay, this one is a good price at thirteen seventy five. And then, because I was talking earlier about how the Celine is like Celine luggages are coming back. This is going to be the smooth leather though, so be aware of that. There's a couple of scratches on it. Nothing crazy. I don't see decent structure. But what is that? That is some type of light. It looks like white paint, maybe. This could probably do with a wet wipe, honestly, because whatever that is looks like it's dried on. Um, this would, although this would come to eleven seventy five, I think that's not bad. Even though the stuff on the bottom, obviously, you may want to find out what exactly it is on the bottom. Surface wear, exterior stuff, smart surface wear, blah blah blah. Smoothing of leather, plating, residue marks, stretched stains. Hmm. I don't know. This looks like it's nice. 
And I know you you guys may see all of all of this, hold on, all of this here and be like afraid, but anytime I've purchased something from Fashion File, they definitely overstate the severity of the wear and condition, for sure. I've been nothing but happy with all of my purchases. So even though like I see that, but that might come off. It might be paint. It looks like it's on top of it. So it might be paint or you could bring it to a cobbler and maybe they could like paint over it. Maybe a, maybe a leather wipe. If you, but if you are into the Celine mini luggage, I think this is definitely a price point worth considering because it would come to $11.75. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Okay. Um, decent price for Celine Nano and it maintains the shape. See, okay, I've, I've definitely been on the record on the Celine Nano. It, it didn't work out for me. I had it for about 45 minutes, but like when you go to use these straps, like you lose the wing shape and that's just something that I just could never get behind with that bag. Um, okay, what else do we got? What else do we got? What do we say about phone cases? What do we say? Oh, sorry. No, do not buy a phone case. <laughs> Miss Coco zip card holder on chain. Like, do you guys agree? that it looks silly to wear a card holder across your body. I'm sorry, like, like, no. Does the strap at least come off? I feel like it doesn't. No, this, like, no, I'm sorry. I, I will never get behind wearing an actual card holder across my body. Especially not for two thousand dollars. Um. So so far, what have we seen? Mm. This looks intriguing. Quilted CC small once upon a time tote. I feel like this is going to be awkward size, but I love this part. Um, it's different. You know what? This is different and it's cool. I like it, even though it's smushed. Something like this, I think maybe it's designed to smush. But I really like this part. This is cool. That's a lot. Let me see. This is, comes to 4605. That's that's a lot, honestly. It's from 2019. It's a full set, box and card and everything. But this this is cool. I, I have I appreciate this. But I don't know. Okay. Let's just go through a couple more, see if there's anything else that we have we want to chat about. If there's anything you guys see, um, please let me know in the comments, in the chat here. Um, all of this jewelry, they must have taken in a lot of jewelry. Here's one of the Escal uh, tie-dye Neverfulls, and um, that's a pretty good price for it. Uh, these tend to go a lot higher, and um, I've seen them sell at like 3000 close to. Uh, this is nice. Goyard Marquise's Tote in Burgundy. Hmm. Goyard is a brand that I've always wanted to like. 
always wanted to like like an ice cream sandwich for that red one that's funny okay um only thing about this is that i know i would want a strap and it doesn't have one but this is cool it's like a too purpley of a burgundy for me oh and it's monogrammed and it's splitting okay okay i'm, I'm trying you guys i'm really i'm really trying that's why i'm saying like goyard is a brand that i've wanted to like but on bags like that the quality just isn't isn't up to snuff what is my opinion on designer hair accessories um i think i'm into it i think i'm into it it's hard for me to use them on my hair personally but i definitely appreciate them definitely do like pins and brooches and like i think they're cool i do i do um i have a picture of me with um when i had the the twists in once and i put a louis vuitton barrette in my hair and it was very very cool so i mean obviously like it, some, some people are going to say that they're like too much money for what they are You can see, like, I have an appreciation of, like, spending money on things that other people don't quite get, but I get that. I get that. I get it, and I think it's cool. But, however, on my hair type, unless, I'm, unless I have it straightened, it wouldn't work. So that's why I wouldn't get one personally, but I definitely like them. Uh, yeah, the shape on this Goyard is really nice. And like I said, Goyard is a brand that I want to like so much, but the bags are either like way crazy expensive or, or just like too simple for the price. But I, you know, what? I, I like the print. I like the print because it's one of those, like, if you know, you know, for sure. Um, Balenciaga all of a sudden, now that I have my little mini one, by the way, I've lived in that bag, honestly. Um, I, I'm into Balenciaga again. All it took was just a little bit more structure. That's all it took for me. And I'm into it again. This one is the say Neo Classic Nano Cities. This is going to be like the little mini tiny one. That's obviously going to be a no-go for me in my lifestyle, but I'm into Balenciaga again. This is the Macro Canage Medium does it say medium caro bag bulgari hey they have so many cartier bracelets here's another um by the pool bag for less money this one come to 1800 i like this i don't know about you guys i i just i can't carry pastels personally but i like it and this tie-dye I didn't love, I loved Dior's tie-dye that they did the same year. Um, okay, we have a book tote for, it would come to 3310. I don't like that leopard. I don't know. I think that that print looks very not expensive and luxurious to me. I don't, I don't know how we feel about that, but... <laughs> No, that's a, that's a no for me. <laughs> All right. What is this? That's interesting tie-dye. It's a backpack. That's different. I like different. Do you want to see the, the backpack? Let me know if you want to see the Prada backpack. I think it's kind of cool. But otherwise, is there anything jumping out from the page that we want to see? I still have my hair clips from Chanel and LV from 99 and 2009. I wear my hair natural too and can make it work. Oh, that's cool. So, okay, so I know I can make it work, but it would just, I feel like it would be too much of an effort. And also, like, I just can't imagine myself wearing hair barrettes. Because I would look like a child. Ooh. Ooh, this is the medium size on the go. And on front leather in gray. Okay, please, 
Please give me mod shot. Please. Yes. <laughs> I'm very excited. They, they finally put the bag on the mannequin. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> okay. I'm into it. I'm into it. This is a yes. So far, excellent condition. Comes with a dust bag in a box. It's going for $31.30, and then $200 less is going to come to $2,900 for full leather in gray. It's, it's, it's adding up for me. Hold on. So I don't know about you guys. I love the on the go. I love it so much. And oh, it's on, on the go MM. I like this. I want a gray bag so badly. Um, rocks. Okay. MM Empreinte Leather. What does LV say? The retail on this bag is $3,400, right? So this is $3,400, and they had it for $3,295, which is, that, that's what they do because it's an excellent condition one. But this one is now going for $3,130, and then minus $200 will bring it to $2,930. So you're saving like $500. I think saving $500 is worth it. Now let's get some photos. I like the size. Let's see the dimensions. That's the thing. Base length is 13 and a half. I think that I just need the classic giant huge size because I'm just a classic giant huge type of bag person. 13 and a half would have me just right here with my laptop. And if my, any of my SD cards or anything are popping out, then I might be toast. I think the gray on this is very, very elegant because initially, and even still, I'm not so much loving the um, giant print. What are our thoughts? This, this is a good buy for sure. And it comes with the box and everything. This is like a taupey color. Comes, it's gonna come in a giant, giant box. I like it. If you get it, you can save some money. Exactly. And that's what this is all about. Because if you get it from the store, you're going to save no money. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Available 29. Yeah. Basically, basically 500 off. Approve. I rather the GM. I think I rather the GM too, honestly. The Hermes Redato backpack reminds me of the new Chanel 22, sort of. Let's see. Redato. Let's see. Um. Yeah, I see it. Hold on. Yeah, very much. You know what? But honestly, though, this reminds me of a leather version of, I have this pulled up on my iPad, so I don't know if you can see that. You can't. Okay. Um, is this currently in stores? Oh, it is. Oh, this is a current bag. Oh, got it. Okay. Um, the only thing is, though, like, <sighs> no. I was buying the Adidas ones when I was in like middle school back in the day, and I just can't not see that. Also, I like structure. So it very much does look like the Chanel 22, and it's showing on uh, in stock on the Hermes website. Um, so I'm going to say the Brie, what is it called? Brie, Brie Dotto is a no for me, but I also, I don't love the Chanel 22. I don't love it. It's too like sackish to me. I don't know if that's, I made up that word entirely, but yeah, you know, a lot of people complain about the GM being too big and this is the answer for them. The MM 
I think that the PM is like, actually, no, the PM is cute. The PM is cute. It's almost like a better Celine Nano, which is what I want. Oh, I don't want the Celine Nano. I want like, sorry. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm into this a lot. Okay, L V O T G M M. I think this has been my favorite of of the whole stream so far. This has been the best buy. Um, sorry. V O T G M. So. If you want that one, then you can click on this link. O T G M M. That's been the best buy, best deal, best value for money. Um, and you save 500 bucks. I just, I'm a sucker for a top handle tote with a shoulder strap. And that's just that's just my lot in life, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna quickly. Oh, oh, there it is. This is the Brigado. Okay, this is. Oh, okay. So I saw it here on my iPad here on the side, but I'm just gonna show you guys what she was talking about. Um, this is the Brigado backpack, and it very much looks like the Chanel 22. But I I don't love this or the twenty two. Chanel twenty two thoughts perhaps maybe comment that down below or on the side wherever you're watching wherever you're commenting comment it there. <laughs> um okay so the easy carry flap in burgundy that looks like very current actually um i love a top handle which you'll see in a second wait there we go don't wait on camera okay i don't like the boy but i like this oh it is past time i'm supposed to i'm supposed to show you my chanel bags now sorry we're almost to the end of this though. I thought the 22 was going to be entry level to get a younger demographic into Chanel. And it, okay, thank you. Until you saw the price. I, I For years I have heard people say that they're trying to make bags that are relevant to younger consumers, except that, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not, absolutely not. They're not targeting any anybody younger at all. I have no idea what they're doing other than printing money. <laughs> um, Golden Child, it's 5,300 for the MM. Do I, have, do I have my page wrong? LV on the go, MM. On front. Okay, leather on the go. Oh yeah, the leather one is thirty four hundred USD, and it's placing cart. That's another one. Placing cart alert. Yeah just under 1400 you know what else i like about that gray one actually I, I don't want to go back to it but um the gray one doesn't have like some crazy color lining it's actually a pretty a pretty decent buy considering like the state of the luxury world right now um okay so um okay 
Oh, my bad. Okay, my bad. Sorry, Golden Child. Okay, I was saying that the Chanel 22 medium is 5300 Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot for that bag. I, I just, you know what it is? It would be a lot at any price. I don't, I just don't love, I like structure. And I just, I like structure. And if it's not structured, I'm not going to like it. Um, okay. Now, I'm not stalling. I'm just genuinely curious what else is out here. Balenciaga, I'm now, I've decided I'm into again. This is kind of cool. Um, the Chanel grained small drawstring bag. I like that. That was nice. Um, executive shop, sorry, neo executive tote. That's nice. A bit on the conservative side for me, but it's an, it, that is a nice bag. Um, what else? I've seen this in person. And even though I hate the her bag that this one's cool, the Pegasus. Um, this one right here, I guarantee you, this is broken, this clasp. Um, what else? Okay. Are you ready to see my bag? Let me know if you're ready to see my bag. I'm just going to keep going over here. If I see some comments and say, yes, please show me your bag. I'll, I'll pull the bag out. This is nice. Half skin quilted, new medium boy flat, but it has the enamel on the clasp. Let's see. For $48.40. You guys know I am not a fan of the boy, but I can appreciate it. Black ruthenium hardware. New medium for $48.40. Still has some shape. It's not perfect, but Okay, so the sticker is damaged. It is, it does exist, but it's damaged. You know, yeah. This is nice, though. This is really, really nice. So, 48.40 minus 200 is 46.40. 4,600 for a boy bag. In today's world... That's good. That's really, really good. Okay, okay, the bag is coming. <laughs> I'm seeing all the comments come through now. There's a, there's a little bit of a delay, um, but yeah. This is nice. This is a good buy in calfskin. It's not lamb, and new medium to me is the correct size. Uh, they now refer to it, I think, as the large on the Chanel website. But yeah. Okay, so without further ado, without further ado, again, okay, so the medium flap, hold on, let me make my screen a little bit bigger. Okay, that's better. So, okay, the medium flap I decided was no longer right for my collection for a variety of reasons that I'm going to share in a review that I have coming probably tomorrow, uh, tomorrow or the next day. Sorry, my hair is like a little PC happening right now. Anyways, um, and if you don't remember, it was silver iridescent suede. I showed it on my um, my bat my updated handbag collection video. So, so you can see it there. Uh, it was silver iridescent suede with gold hardware. And I really think I just loved the color and the combination of the mixing of the metals of that bag, because I honestly think that the medium, I think it's overhyped. I'm going to talk about why in my next video. <laughs> I'm not going to do that here, but, but I sent that one back to fashion pile. And I was like all like down and sad about it, thinking like, oh man, I'm never gonna have a Chanel bag. I just, I just don't like anything enough. And then we got something in at work and I fell in love. We were about to do a live stream at work. I'm tapping out like a wrestler in the ring when it comes to the price of increases of LV and Chanel, 100%. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, it really is. It, it, and I know that we all in the luxury community say how ridiculous it is every single day, but like, 
it is though. <laughs> so in at work one day, you know, we're prepping the list for our, our live stream. And I saw this bag on the counter and I was like, what is that? And I had just returned the other one. Actually, no, I hadn't returned it. No, I I just like done all the the process um, beforehand to return it. So I had the shipping label like all print printed out. Um, I was gonna take it to Neiman Marcus, and uh, like a couple of days later, and I saw it, and I was like, "What is that? I love that. This is so much better than the one that I have." And because you guys are so dedicated to be watching me on a Monday at ten thirty. I'll let you guys see it first. <laughs> yes, ballet dancer. It was a type of suede. Like, I'm not entirely certain on it, but it was, like, metallic. I'm going to have, like, really detailed shots in my uh, my, my review video. So uh, be on the lookout for that probably tomorrow. You know what? I'll put it up tomorrow. I'll put that video up tomorrow. Beware. It is a negative review on a Chanel Classic. I Please... Tell your friends, but keep the pitchforks at bay. <laughs> okay. Ready to see it. Wait, wait, wait. Ta-da! Isn't it better? It's so much better. Ta-da! Voila! So I actually got this at work. I never buy bags at work, never buy bags at work, but I saw this and I absolutely had to have it. So this is called the Fantasy Pearl Flap and it is gold metallic um, lambskin. I'm 90% sure that it's lambskin. Uh, it has light gold hardware. It's sort of like a bigger version of the wallet on chain. Um, I actually did a side-by-side -side comparison on this one and the medium and why I like this one so much more. And yeah, what also is cool is that it has this top handle with the chain and it just gives you like another way to wear it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. The medium flap I hadn't worn. I had the tags on it when I sent it back. This one I've already worn like four times and I barely even go out and like leave, leave my, my life. So, oh, sorry. Okay. So. I know the lighting isn't great. You're gonna see it better um, in my videos to come, but I'm so excited. Uh, so, opens up just like this. Uh, it's just like a wallet on chain. If you look in here, oh, what is that? A detachable place for a strap, a D-ring to put a strap onto it. Because I'll tell you that it came with, where is it? It came with a strap that I actually hate. I despise the strap that it came with. And I'm, I'm going to show you it because what it is, is that as much as I like Chanel, there are just some parts of the Chanel like signature, signature traits that I don't like. One of them is tweed, which is signature to the house. And the other is, the other is pearls. Look, look, look at me. I don't even want the pearls to touch my, my, my skin because I'm afraid like it's going to burn me. <sighs> Like I'm the devil. Like I, I cannot wear pearls. I can't. So I took this off and it's very, very long. Um, let me just put it on here really quickly just to show you. I just, I had a vision for this bag when I saw it and I had to like decide in the moment that I was going to take it. And I did. I slept on it for a night, which is not easy to do when, you know, you work in the land of the live stream. Some of you know where that is. <laughs> so this is the bag with the pearl chain. Ta-da! So I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So much better for me in my wardrobe. And like what I contend is that I think that just Chanel makes so many better bags than the classic flap and then the boy. Like they're classics to me. I'm just like, I'm, I'm bored of them. I'm very bored of them. And I, I'm not, I'm not into, I, I just don't like the design specifications. Okay. okay. 
I'm not going to get into it too much because you will see it. I did a whole like 20 minute rant of a video that I just edited for like more hours than it should have taken. And yeah, <laughs> hold on. I got another strap from Etsy in black. Now it has a black strap instead. And it's shorter too. You know, I'm gonna take this banner away. Um, hide banner, there we go. So this is, this is the new one with a cheap Etsy strap. So this is the original strap. It's like ridiculously long. Like I can't even show that to you. I hope I'm not showing you anything embarrassing. Other than a picture of me in preschool. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> so yes, uh, this is the new bag. It's called the, um, I forgot the name of it. I will find the link for it. I will find it online. If there are any online, um, then I will try to find one and it will be in my next video tomorrow. Um, yeah, so the pearls are just very not me. The pearls are not me. Also, like, practically speaking, like, this is going to get caught in my hair. Like, absolutely not. So um, I was very, very glad. Like, it would, totally would have been a deal breaker for me if the, the strap wasn't detachable. Um, definitely would not have worked out. And I wish, too, that I could sell this. But it doesn't have, like, any CCs or anything on it. So it just kind of just looks like any old any old strap from, from anywhere. So I don't know what to do with this because I'm certainly not going to wear them. Like, can you imagine me and pearls? But no. <laughs> um, I also got a white strap for this bag, but I don't like it as much. I can't really figure out why. Um, but it's an option. It's an option that I have available because the strap is detachable and I can add whatever I want to it. Like, guess what? I can use, I can suit it to my needs. Isn't that nice? Okay, so making it a belt is a great idea, but it's gonna be a belt with pearls on it. <laughs> I hate pearls. I hate pearls. <laughs> I just wanna see kind of what it looks like with both straps together. I've never done this, but do we like that? Is that is that a lot? Do we like this together? The two two black and white. I don't know, but overall, very very happy with my new bag. Um, got it from work and. We'll see more details on it to come in the future. So, um, I've been on for two and a half hours. Usually I do, usually I do three because I just get carried away. But this, the sale was, the sale was okay. It wasn't hitting so much in the first three pages, but I would definitely implore you to, you know, look next time, next time, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from page 10 and, and work my way backwards because I feel like that's where the good stuff on the sale is going to be. Um, where, where am I? Here we are. Okay, so you don't like the double strap. The black one definitely is better. Yeah, just, just, just a thought, just something I wanted to try out in real time. That was too many chains. I get it. I get it. Agree. Um, but yeah, so next time we do this, we're going to go to page 10. And from there, although I really do like this boy, this is a, this is a good one. Um, the It was the serial number that was, the sticker was damaged. It was still there, but it was damaged. And you know what? That's, that's not a, it's not a huge deal, honestly. Um, what else? I think it didn't come with anything. Like, my goodness. Guys. What do I always say? Keep as many accessories as possible. So I think that wraps up the third page. 
And I think that I'm going to go make myself some dinner. It's only 1030. I feel like I did pretty, I, I did pretty okay. We saw some bags. We chatted. We laughed. Um, definitely want to do more of these. If you have any, um, any, yes. Thank you, V. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, wait. Um, yeah. Ooh. Jean de Naples? That's a nice color. Anyways. <laughs> Is that how I did it before? Okay. Okay. I need to, I, I need to like get my ish together, but, um, yeah, this was just kind of impromptu. I didn't have like a whole bunch of like preparation before I decided to do this. I just kind of like spur of the moment at like two o'clock today. I was like, hey, I'm gonna go live. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to do more of these. Uh, they're very, very fun. And um, let's, I want to, I'm aiming to make it like a once a month type of deal. So it's easy to do it when there is a sale on fashion file, but there doesn't have to be. Cause you know, honestly, a lot of the time they probably do like we were saying earlier, like inflate the price to like knock it down by just a little bit. So maybe it may be fun to do it when there isn't a sale is to see what the regular price is. Cause sometimes they're like, I just, I can't stress enough. There are still deals out there. There are like my ombre Givenchy bag. I got that for like $600. Once you get away from Chanel and Hermes and Louis Vuitton, then that's when the deals are. Um, and yeah, so I think I'm going to go log off and make myself some dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching with me uh, for two and a half hours. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I hope we had fun. Um, if we would, if you'd like to see more of these or if you want a website or anything, you can uh, definitely send me a message over on Instagram um, or comment below here because I'm going to be reposting this um, in a bit. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Bye.